Hi, my name is Jamie Tucker. I'm a senior outbound product manager for the Data Foundation's business unit at ServiceNow. Today, we're going to talk about Service Graph Connector Central. This is our safe harbor notice, and some of the information presented here may be forward looking. Um, it is based on our beliefs and assumptions based on information currently available to us, and we ask that you do not make any purchasing decisions based on the information presented. So a quick overview of Service Graph Connector Central. It is a modern unified management console designed to streamline the full life cycle of Service Graph Connectors from the point of installation and configuration to operating and debugging with minimal effort. It is free in the ServiceNow store. With Service Graph Connector Central, users can seamlessly configure their Service Graph Connectors to ingest data into the ServiceNow CMDB using an intuitive single interface experience. The application ensures complete visibility into the health and status of connected data sources enabling quick issue resolution and improved data accuracy. The problem statement, which was the driving force behind the development of the Service Graph Connector Central, was that we did not have a single framework to find, install, configure, operate, as well as maintain Service Graph Connectors. There was not a, uh, an excellent user experience. People needed to go through a series of steps to see the discovered sources. There was no easy way to see the overall connectors and their data processing. And debugging an issue was very difficult. So the key features in Service Graph Connector Central are Explore, where you can view Service Graph Connectors with new updates available. You can view SGCs that are already installed on your instance. You can also view the list of connectors for which entitlements are available. Secondly is being able to create connections. You can set up connectors using a guided playbook experience. Currently, the playbook support includes 14 service graph connectors with additional SGCs coming in each release. If a connector is not supported via the playbook, the guided setup provides alternative instructions. The CMDB installation admin role can help create connections directly from the available connectors list. The third feature is managing connections. You can view and manage all installed and draft connections. You can update and test credentials and configurations for active connections. You can modify system properties for specific connectors and update or execute import schedules as needed. And the last feature is the dashboard. This is where you can monitor connection health and processing status, as well as error tracking. You can track the import sets, rows, configuration items, and partial records that were imported into the CMDB. You'll be able to view processing times and errors across different connections. Here are a few screenshots that you'll see when you install SGC Central. Your dashboard view will show you the processing errors, import sets, your data processing pipeline, error breakdowns, updated classes, affected CIs, and more. You'll see the different dashboards for exploring connectors, viewing all connections, and there's also a direct link to the Integration Hub ETL. On the dashboard, it's a single user experience to manage all aspects of your SGCs. In here, you can easily search, download, configure, and manage different service graph connectors. This view simplifies all the aspects of managing SGCs. Version 2.0 went live in March of 2025, and 2.1 will be available in June of 2025. 
In this version, we have a redesigned dashboard where you can view connection and processing status, activated schedules and ongoing schedule executions, as well as useful metrics. There's also additional connector support where you can manage all your CCF compliant connectors, which are the common connection framework connectors. Currently, we have 14 connectors available. And as I stated earlier, more are coming with each release. In terms of system requirements and compatibility, uh, this current version works on Yokohama, Xanadu, and Washington DC patch three. And as I said, version 2.1 is coming in June of 2025. There are some dependencies, such as Integration Commons, Integration Hub ETL, as well as Playbook Experience. The SGC Central Workspace will also be unlocked via another supporting workspace, typically the CMDB Workspace. Some of the enhancements in 2.0 include the upgraded modernized dashboard, the ability to create connections within SGC Central, which previously could only be done using Guided Setup, user experience improvements in the Create Connection Playbook and functional improvements on the majority of screens. And we also remediated some UI defects and performance issues. Just to list a few of the many benefits. First is being able to visualize the connection status. With the integrated dashboard, you can have instant insights into the connection status of each connector that you've installed and the performance. This will help you keep your connections running smoothly and you can quickly debug for seamless integration. Another benefit is being able to discover integration ready connectors. In the Explore Connectors dashboard, you'll be able to explore and install connectors based on the connection type requirement. You'll have complete control of connections so that you can create or modify connections according to your needs. And another benefit is to optimize integration. So you'll be able to ensure transparent transforms and mappings of discovered sources and process data. Thank you for listening. And if you have any questions, contact one of our product managers in the Data Foundations Business Unit.